Good morning, YouTubers. Kim behind the camera here. Um, so, sorry about my vlog last night. Um, for some reason, we lost power here. Not sure why, but we lost it while I was rendering my video, and it didn't kick back on for a couple hours. Um, we were out for a few hours. It was beautiful weather. I'm not sure exactly what happened. Maybe an overload. I don't know. Anyways, couldn't upload my vlog from last night, so went ahead and did it this morning. Um, I'm still doing my vlog for today. Still will have bedtime story later. Um, today I think is going to feel more of like another off day. Only because Lily is still in a lot of trouble from the messes she made yesterday. And apparently all kids go through it. We're not the only ones. So it's a little stressful to deal with. So, so Kyle, even though he's on vacation, he still has like, he, his body is just so accustomed to 15, almost, well, just about 16 years of doing this job and working overnight and even though he's on vacation it's like his mind still has to do the same thing so he still won't go to bed like he's so, like it would be a normal person like you or I would go to bed you know I mean sometimes late but he he just can't go to bed he, he stays awake until you know it'd be like if he came home from work so he's still not going to bed until like 8 30 9 o'clock in the morning but anyways, so I wake up and he tells me, if you do decide to let the girls out into the garage, tell them, you know, just be careful with them because I went ahead and started putting the playset together. Now, the playset is being put together uh, tomorrow. Yeah, and Sunday is Kyle's birthday. <laughs> but he wants to do it. We have friends and some people who are going to help us. There's the rock climbing wall. That's the beams for the top for the swings and then obviously the whole side so um that part i guess is done uh so we just have to do the rest which we'll do tomorrow hopefully lily is better today while i'm gone um hopefully they have a better day i work another five and a half hours um so hopefully it goes quick i'm off the next few days with kyle again so we get to spend some time together, which is really, really nice because with him working overnights and I work during the days, we just, we don't see each other very often, you know, we don't get a lot of time to spend with each other. So this extra time we're about to have, or we have had the past few days and will have is really, really nice and it's much, much needed because these kids are driving me insane. I love them so, so much, but I need adult interaction, and it's so nice when it's Kyle. So, uh, yeah, wish us luck for the rest of this day. So, Newt Newt crashed. I'm only going to let her sleep for probably about 10 minutes, enough to just take the edge off. She's going to get a nap soon, and I don't want her to be too rested, because then she won't sleep then. <laughs> Came behind the camera here. Come yeah, I keep camera. like... Huh. He's focusing out. Do you, do you know how to zoom in and out, right? Yeah. So let me know when you can get it to focus. But like every time you guys move, it focuses out. Yeah, I know, because the camera's a piece of crap. <laughs> Here, let me put it on my knee so it's... Or put it on a pillow. Here. Alright, right there is good. You want it on the pillow? No, no, that's good. mine! <coughs> okay, you can have it back in Jeez. Keeps going out of focus. That's alright, I can't get her to focus either, so... Alright, Lily, really, look. look at Daddy. What's coming up? His birthday. His birthday? How old is Daddy gonna be? 71. <laughs> 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 um, close. <laughs> 71, huh? 71? Is that old or young? Older. Is daddy going to be old? 71. <laughs> um, daddy's going to be 32. He's going to be 31. Um, Lily, what are you going to do for daddy's birthday? Not give him a present. <laughs> <laughs> Not give me Not a present? Not give him a present. I'll remember Come that here. when your birthday comes around. This is typically time out, but she just sat down there herself. I guess she just automatically assumed she's going to be in trouble because she's not helping me clean. Um, Kyle 
poor guys, completely exhausted. The kids, I guess, there was no hope. They were once again so daddy. bad for him. So daddy. Shh, 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 shh. Hi. But you gotta be quiet, okay? Be quiet, daddy. He's sleeping. Shh, shh. So poor Kyle. Completely exhausted. They were already, they were awful for him today. Uh, and obviously, as you can see, it's a train wreck down here, and I guess it's no different upstairs. So, um, yeah. And on top of everything else, I should mention my cat, I think, has to be sick. Um, had, you know, he's seven years old, never had a problem with him, not in all seven years that we've had him. He has never <laughs> peed or pooped anywhere other than his litter box. Which was not the case today. Usually he always sleeps with Kyle. When Kyle goes to bed, Arthur goes to bed. All night when I'm trying to sleep, that little fool is bouncing off my walls, messing with stuff, slapping stuff around. No, when Kyle's here, they sleep. So every day it's the same routine. When I put the girls down for a nap and I'm getting ready for work, I'll open up our bedroom door and Art will come out and he'll come down and he'll go to the bathroom down into the basement and eat or whatever. And today it was still shut, but it was no different. Like I opened the door, went in, uh, turned on the air conditioner and Art had already come down. And I come down to the top, I get to the top of the stairs and I look down and I see the dude in the play area. And I'm like, what is he doing? He's like over there, he's kind of like crouched. And he's like, he's kind of, he's looking up. So I'm thinking there's like a bug, like a spider or a fly or he's looking at something over here, right? So I come down the stairs and I come walking over to him to see what he's looking at. And I realize he's taking a giant crap on the floor. <laughs> Oh, and I felt so bad like I didn't even know what to do I just kind of sat there and I from what I thought it looked like he was I don't know it was kind of dark down here it looked like he was just starting and as I got closer because I was going to try and pick him up and carry him downstairs to the litter box and I as I get like right up on him where it's like now I, it's more visible I realized it's a giant mound of crap he's actually crapping on so, uh, yeah, right before I went to work, too. So I ended up having to spend, you know, 20 minutes trying to clean that up and get that smell. Yeah. Um, but, yeah, then he went downstairs and he ate. So I'm going to go check on him, actually, and see how he's feeling. What's wrong, Mom? We got to be quiet. And Daddy's sleeping. Well, cause I think Art's sick. How can I go better? Oh, it's alright. I just think maybe he has an upset tummy. Mommy. What? I'm sick. Why? <laughs> Why? You're just sick. Because Arthur's sick? Yeah. It's alright. He'll be okay. I think he just had an upset tummy. I think maybe he had to go potty really bad. And that door wasn't open, and he just couldn't get down to his potty in time. He had no choice. So he, po he pooped where you guys play. <laughs> so I think maybe he doesn't like you guys. <laughs> no, I'm kidding. He's fine. Aww. He's fine. You want to go see him with me? Yeah. Yeah? Let's go see him. But you got to be quiet, okay? Because he runs. <laughs> When he sees you guys, <laughs> Art doesn't exactly play with the children. Um, he runs and hides at the sound of their voice. So we'll see if we can go say hi to him. I want to check on him anyways. The story I'm going to tell you guys tonight is the time my dad became like a preacher. So there was this one church we always went to. Like it was the one church we religiously went to as a family called Trident Baptist Church. So this church, like we were there every Sunday morning, us kids, we were there for Sunday school. My mom and dad, they went to like the adult, like prayer time, whatever, you know, then we all went to church, you know, listened to the sermon then, then went again that night, 
when every Wednesday they had a meeting and then we would go out what they called soul winning. And that's when they, you pile up on these buses and you go out to like parking lots of like shopping centers and grocery stores and stuff. And you just walk up to the people that are coming out or going in and you know, you hand them pamphlets and you're, do you believe in God? Do you think you're going to heaven? Are you 100% sure that when you die, you're going to heaven? So, and that's what we did every Wednesday night. We went out and did these things. And mom and dad, you know, they used to go to the meetings in the morning and yeah, like, but also for some reason, they never let us ride with them. Like they always drove together, but for some reason, the four of us kids always had to take the bus. And you know what's funny about that? It was bus number seven. Bus number seven. It's the best bus. We love the preacher and the preacher loves us. Hey. Yeah, that crazy type of crap. You sing that as you're pulling in the church and the preacher's out there waving at us as we're pulling in. We're high preacher. You know, all of that. So anyways, um, yeah. So, and you know what's funny about that too is any bus I had ever been on like since then whether it was middle school bus my high school bus most field trip buses were all bus number seven too it's kind of weird well dad ended up you know getting in he wanted to go out to these places and he wanted to do you know these sermons and stuff like that too so he took us along with them there was this one presbyterian nursing home mom was actually a nurse there she was an rn and dad took us there, dressed us all up, and he would take us in, and he would start his sermons. He'd have his Bible, and he'd start preaching, and, you know, he had, like, his whole thing worked out, and, you know, and granted, there was probably, like, five, if that, elderly people there, but they'd be in there, and they're listening to dad, and they're, amen, praise the Lord, hallelujah, you know, and dad's giving it to him, you know, he's given like, the the presentation of his lifetime here comes the four of us Charlie Jennifer me and Michael all dressed up in Sunday best and we get up there and mom just starts beating on the piano she has no idea how to play the piano by the way but she starts beating on that piano and the four of us all in choir go tell it on the mountain over the hills and everywhere go tell it on the mountain so we had to sing we know all these gospel songs and that's what they made us do we had to get up there and we had to sing college and they're all staring at us and they're all oh look how cute you know and they're pinching us and you know it's sweet you know the elderly people you know it made them definitely made them smile and it made their day but then there's some people in there you know remember it's a nursing home there's all different types of people that are from different, you know, walks of life. There was this one old lady, she just would stand out there with a walker. And as you went to start walking by her, she would just start screaming at you. And I have no idea what she was saying, but she's like screaming at you in like another language. And she's like taking her walker and she's jabbing at you and she's like screaming at you and she's trying to grab at you. And they're just like, oh, just run by, just run by. And we run through and we're thinking, oh, please don't ever make us go back there again. And then like clockwork, you know, he would make us dress up and we had to go and sing to these elderly people. And he did that for a long time. And then we moved and, you know, moved to, that's when we moved to Columbia. So we ended up not going there for a while. And then actually, um, I think not too long ago, they tried going back there again. But yeah, that's a whole nother story. But yeah. That's the story about the time when my dad was a preacher and would have us go out and sing and he would preach to elderly people at nursing homes. And we went to all different nursing homes, by the way. There were many times, many places we have gone to and these bugs are starting to annoy me, so I'm gonna get out of here. But yeah, uh, yeah, he took us to many places. We That wasn't the first and only and last time we had done that. So I uh, hope you guys liked the story. If you did, like, subscribe. If you didn't, like, subscribe. Have a good night, guys.